I'm here in the front pasture with our flock of chickens here at Stone Barns. I want to show you this uh, chicken coop, which we call eggmobile or sometimes a poultry schooner. Um, we want these uh, coops to be able to fit into our vegetable fields just as well as they can fit onto pastures for times that we have uh, long-term forage cover crops. We want to be able to bring them in for repairs and maintenance inside in the winter. We wanted to build a house that had a low center of gravity and could handle being on all kinds of terrain. Relatively lightweight so it could be trailered by a tractor or other small piece of equipment onto the pasture. The chickens live outside 24-7 from spring till fall and every morning after they've slept in their coops for the night we let them out onto a new area where they're able to graze on fresh grass and whatever insects and bugs are present in that area. Chickens need the particulates in the dirt to remove mites and other debris that they have on their skin. And so that instinct to scratch is always going to happen. And that's why we like to move them within 24 hours because the longer that they're on a given spot, the deeper that dust bathing hole is gonna be. We like to actually seed uh, new forages into those areas that the chickens sort of till and aerate for us. Here we have a mixture of smooth brome, ryegrass, clover. When our ruminant herd comes through this space next, there'll be some good forages that have grown where the chickens have grazed before. These eggs come out pretty clean. We're always adding fresh wood uh, shavings to the bedding and then collecting in the morning when we move them, and then coming in the afternoon, afternoon after they've finished laying for the day. All of you that might be interested in uh, upgrading what you currently have on your farm or just want to get into chickens right now, we put together a full CAD design drawing of all the different materials. We were able to design something that was built entirely with things that we could get standard at a local hardware store or a local farm supply store. Since we've built these things, we've been modifying them over time, uh, providing more ventilation at different times, shifting the size of the grading systems. We feel like this kind of open source and open communication about ways that we're building and sharing with other people will help invigorate the small farm world and get more people to raise small flocks and get them to manage on these rotational systems in a more efficient and uh, more responsible way.